I am a germline biologist. We can learn things from how germ cells migrate to understand how those programs get hijacked in uh, metastasizing cancer cells. I'm working on the interface between epigenetics and chromatin biology. I'm using acute myeloid leukemia as a model system to understand how chromatin factors become deregulated in cancer. At the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation, we believe in the strategy of supporting early career scientists to enable them to take risks and be innovative and bold at this very critical point in their career. A lot of the grants and a lot of the awards that are out there, when you see the distribution of who gets these uh, awards and fellowships and, and programs, most of the times you see more men getting these things. There have been some moments where I've wondered if somebody was taking me seriously, particularly when it comes to finding out that I have children. We know that science is a particularly challenging career path for everyone, but we know that for women it is especially difficult to balance a very demanding career with having a young family and trying to be successful in all aspects of their lives. I think we chase balance between work and, and home life. I'm fairly new in the motherhood world. You have less time to spend a, you know, in the lab and doing lab-related things. Yeah, it definitely makes things more challenging. My husband is also a scientist, and so sometimes there's this perfect storm where we both have hard deadlines at the same time. Necessity makes you figure it out. <laughs> if you want a family and if you're a woman, it's a really tough choice sometimes. Women have to be twice as smart and work twice as hard to get to the same place where a man can get. That's just the reality of it. At Damon Runyon, we try to support our women scientists in ways that help them get through these times that can be very difficult. We help to support them with a childcare allowance and also provide them with additional resources to bring their children to our retreats, for example. I feel the foundation has been instrumental in really allowing me to feel confident that I can do my science properly, but I can do one properly. It goes beyond the support of just having the fellowship, but having their moral support. They've said, look, this person can really do wonderful things, and you have that behind you really makes a big difference. I don't need special treatment. I just want to be supported the same way that men are supported. And that's something that the foundation really excels at.